Sabino, a licensed massage therapist. Lynn, I went to a, a seminar that you gave recently, and you were talking about the three things that are very important to move, and that really just stuck with me. And I was wondering briefly if you could talk about the three things that you have to move to be in good health. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's like the three Bs. Uh, your body, your breath, and your bowels. And the reason I put those three things together is that, <clears throat> you know, as we age, it's so important to keep moving. The more you sit, the more you're sedentary, the harder it becomes to move when you really want to. And so that's why, like, when you get up out of a chair, you might be stiff and you might have trouble navigating. Um, so you have to move every day, multiple times a day, whether that's cardio exercise or it's stretching or you know, just very gentle movements of the joints, which we'll show here in a little bit, um, movement's important. Moving your breath means taking deep breaths. You know, when, again, when we become sedentary, we tend to shallow, breathe in a shallow fashion, and that doesn't oxygenate your body. So you need to move your breath, take deep breaths in, let them out, take another deep breath in. And then moving your bowels, I, you know, I'm not a doctor, but I can tell you that <clears throat> Regular daily bowel movements are really critical to maintaining health. The reason we have bowel movements is to eliminate waste and toxin from the body. If you're not eliminating, it's building up in your body and it's creating um, <clears throat> toxin and, and waste buildup within the body. So move your body, move your breath, move your bowels. Do you want to show me that? I'd be happy thing? to, sure. <clears throat> um, you know, these movements are really easy to do if you just rely on your back. You know, if you can't get down on the floor or you don't have a nice table like this, you can do this in bed. You can do it wherever you can get flat on your back. So if you're, if you're worried that you can't get down on the floor and get back up again, no worries. Do it in bed before you get up in the morning. Do it before you go to sleep at night. So the one thing that we want to make sure we do is to move the spine. <clears throat> And we start with the knees raised like this, and uh, if you're on the floor or on your bed, you'll have your arms out to the side, so if you want to lay your arms out to the side. Now the first thing you're going to do with your legs, with your knees and your feet together, is then drop your knees from side to side, and just let them go as far as they'll go. You can you know, loosen them up, it's okay if they separate a little bit. And it's more important to move slowly and deliberately than it is to move fast. This is not exercise, this is movement. Now, as you're doing this, then you want to get the upper part of your spine going, and you would be turning your head from side to side opposite your legs. So when your legs are down this way, your head goes that way. Nice. And make it slow and deliberate and really feel the movement. So the bottom of your spine is twisting one way, the top of your spine is twisting the other way. And if you can envision the spine, you can see all those little um, vertebrae and the facet joints within the vertebrae moving. That feels good. It does feel good, doesn't it? <clears throat> now, a variation of this is to separate your feet but leave your knees together. And <clears throat> in yoga, this is a restorative pose for the sacrum, for the low back. And you could just lie like this for quite a while and have it feel really good on your low back. But then you want to do the same thing. You want your legs to go from side to side and you notice that they'll separate a bit and they'll come down a little differently than they did before. And that's okay. Let them come as far as they'll go. So if, if this bottom leg wants to go all the way to the floor, let it go. If it doesn't, let it go as far as it wants to go. And then you do the same thing with your head. Side to side, opposite your legs. Very nice. Alright, so then putting your feet back together again, <clears throat> Uh, we want to start to move the arms and the shoulders. So you're going to have one palm up and one palm down. And then when your legs go down and your head turns opposite the legs, you're going to shift your palms so the one that's up goes down. Now really feel the movement in the shoulders so that when you're, when you're shifting, you really feel your shoulders move like this. So every time your legs go, make that shift. And you'll feel a stretch in your spine, along your side, Nice. And you can do the same thing uh, with your arms moving <clears throat> and your feet spread apart like you did um, a few seconds ago. Well, I can see how that would help every mm -hmm. day. Yeah. So, you know, it, you don't need to do it for a very long time. And if you've experienced some pain, like let's say you can move your legs to here and then you start feeling pain, that's as far as you go. Mm -hmm. So you just go to the pain. You don't have to go into it, but I bet you the more you do it, the more you'll notice you can go further and further each time. 
Good. Thank you very much. You're welcome.